just very excited to, you know, get the win and still, you know, stay in the tournament and have an opportunity to play in, on Sunday. And just really proud of the team and just all their hard work has paid off. And it wasn't one of our best games, but we found a way to win. And I thought uh, we had it, certain individuals hit big shots at big times. And, um, yeah, just excited. And it was uh, – Cal gave us everything they had. So, like I said, I'm just proud to stay in this in advance. Take questions first for just the student athletes, please. Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Go for Pete on the right. For uh, both the players, I mean, what does this feel like? I mean, Virginia loves its women's basketball, and you guys hadn't won a tournament game in quite some time. What does this feel like to, to experience this? I mean, well, we haven't made the tournament in quite some time, so to win a game um, was just a great feeling. And I think it just kind of validated the fact that we belong here um, and we're not done yet. But it's been a goal for us for the whole year and something that we've been working for since last season when we didn't make the tournament. So just knowing that we belong here, feeling confident, and um, finally getting a big win is huge for us. Felicia, you want to add to that? No, it's been a long time coming, so I'm glad we're finally here. Chris on the left. This is for either one of you again. Um, when they come back and tied it at 57, what sort of what did you guys do to sort of close out the game? I know the big three was was a big part of it, but then you hit I guess six free throws to seal it. What sort of happened there the last minute minute and a half? I mean, I think we've been in a lot of tough games throughout the season, especially in the ACC play. Um, so. For us, in practice and games, we've had that experience to know that we need to finish out games. Um, we definitely didn't have the best start, and we were lackadaisical on the defensive end. We did not play our best defense at all. So coming in the last stretch, we knew we had to get those stops and finish it with the rebound, box and board, and um, try and execute on the offensive end, including making free throws. And that's um, what got us the win. Go back to Pete on the right. Uh, you know, I know nothing's official yet we still have to play this game here but what the the possibility of going up probably you know the the biggest name in virginia women's basketball don staley you probably see pictures and mementos of her everywhere around the building what would that be like for you guys it's a challenge um there's a lot of respect for her uh being that she's a former virginia women's basketball player and has left a huge legacy but you know we also want to win this game and so it's not so much about her in Virginia, but us on the court taking advantage of um, the matchup. It's an opportunity for us. Go to the back of the room. You know, over the last three, four, five weeks, it hasn't been the easiest stretch for you guys. What does this win mean? Felicia, you want to take that? No, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think. Uh, especially since we didn't have games that we played, um, just focusing at practice. Um, just, you know, we've been expecting our name to be called on Monday and just w working hard and expecting us to be called for us to prepare for the game. I think that's huge, and that's what we've been working on. I think more than anything, I'm just so happy for our fourth years who yeah, sure. have really set the tone for us and have been waiting for this moment for so long. To see it kind of pay, finally pay off for them, um, I'm just really happy for them. Chris on the left. Felicia, you were a big part of the offense today. What was happening for, the, for your teammates to get you the ball down low and you were able to convert? Uh, we've been working on that um, for a couple of weeks now, just making my presence known, trying to go get the ball, um, even though it's not the place that I want the ball, to get the ball. Um, so just trying to get the ball, try to be open and available for my teammates. And if it's not the shot that's available for me, I should always be able to kick the, the ball out and repost. Go to the back of the room again. Jocelyn, you spoke about what it means to the seniors on this team, but a lot's been made about your class, too. What, what does it mean to you guys? I think as a class, you know, that's part of the reason why we chose Virginia, is to make it to the tournament, um, something that be a part of rebuilding the program um, and do things that haven't been done in, the, in <clears throat> quite a few years. And so it's a big step for us, but just knowing that there's always more for us and hopefully we stick together and continue to grow over the years and continue to um, have more success. That's, it's a step in the right direction for us. Any other questions for the student athletes? Having none, you guys can go back to the locker room. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow.
We'll open up for questions for Coach Boyle. Let's start with Pete and then go to the back. Join you guys. Uh, you had a little bit of a lead in the, in, in the fourth quarter, and then they come storming back a little bit. They tie the game at 57. What were you? Did you think maybe you guys? Did you believe you guys had enough to hold on? Did you worry that they were maybe a little too worn out at, by then? No, I mean at that point it's it's a battle. So you know, I, I think the the one thing is that we've been in a lot of tough games this year, a lot, uh, whether it being really tough games in the ACC or a non-conference. And so it wasn't new to us. I didn't feel like they tied it and, oh, my gosh, it's not going to happen. It was like we've been here before, you know. And the biggest thing we always talk about is just we were on the offensive end at that point, just execute, 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 you know. And um, I didn't think tonight we took a lot of bad shots, and that's a lot of times where we kind of run into some problems. And we just moved the ball around, and no one took a bad shot. And Nikki was wide open, and she knocked it down, and that gave us a little bit of breathing room. But then we had to get stops on the other end of the floor. So I don't it, – it was just like, okay, here we go. You know, just let's make sure we execute and get the best shot we can. Let's go over here to Chris on the left. Defensively in the second half, did, did you change anything up? Seemed like you sort of disrupted them a little more than what, what it was in the first half. Trying to do just a little bit. So, obviously, we were switching on ball screens, going over on fives, started trap here and there a little bit. Went to a 2-3, um, came out and did the buzz one time. So just a little bit here and there. Um, I just felt we, we had some fatigue going, and to run the buzz, you really got to get after it. So we, we stayed more of our man-to-man -man and then just picked you know some, a possession here or there where we could just change it up a little bit. Go to the back of the room. Joanne, is it safe to call this the biggest win of your UVA career? It's a great win. I mean, it's a, I'm just so... Like Josh said, just so proud of the team. You know, this year was all about staying together and united. And we had that sophomore class, the senior class. They were so close last year in doing it. And uh, we came up just a little bit short. So they, they just spent a lot of time recommitting themselves to their goals. And, you know, I think, like I've said this before, but I think our non-conference schedule challenged us, challenged us a lot to get ready for the ACC. And we just kept plugging away, plugging away, plugging away. And, we just found ways to win. So I'm just so proud of them, you know, as individuals, just to really want this and understand what it was going to take to get here. Ben. Um, just how much did it change things for you guys with their top offensive option out for the game? Yeah, you know, you never know. Sometimes teams play better, you know, and so we weren't focused on them at all. I mean, it's hard for, you know, Lindsay's a great friend of mine. It's hard to see, you know, her go through that. Um, but it was about the game. And so, you know, they, they have other great players too. And, so we were just trying to focus on us and what we were going to do to, to take things away from them. It wasn't just going to be about Christina. And I thought Thomas and um, some of their other players really stepped up. So, um, you know, it's hard. It's hard to go through into a game like that. But we really had to stay focused on what we needed to do to win the game. Go back to the right, Pete. Join again, if, if, what, if what we believe is going to happen and outside there happens and you guys go up against – Dawn Staley, I mean, I'm sure there are pictures and trophies and nets mm -hmm. and things like that of her all over the place. Do you, do you think you guys will pay any attention to that kind of yeah. uh, that, that legacy? No, you know, Dawn is an unbelievable person. She's done and she's had an unbelievable career both as a player and a coach. She's now doing national team. I mean, she's all over the place. She's a, quite mm -hmm. busy, but she's earned everything that's come her way. She's a great coach and a great person. And, um, and she is all over JPJ, and we respect the legacy. You know, we just – we do. But we're in a tournament, and it's a game. And we're not going to make it any bigger than that. We're going to prepare. We're going to step on the floor. And we're going to try and play our best basketball against their team, whoever that is. You know, So that's our focus. We're not going to make it any bigger than that. Got Ben in the front. I saw you and Coach Gottlieb shared a moment uh, out there in the hallway. I guess can you share a little about what you guys talked about? And, and what is that sort of like as a moment you know, with a friend like that? Yeah, she's a great friend of mine. and. You know, it's hard to be on that side of it and just told her, you know, she's just been doing such a great job with that program and just taking it to new heights. And it was just, you know, it wasn't there a night. It was tough, but um, love her to death. And it was just 40 minutes of our lives, you know, and it is what it is. And I'll talk to her tonight or tomorrow and um, we'll continue to be friends. But you hate it. Not, I don't think any of us coaches enjoy playing our friends. It's just we just don't enjoy it. But we tried to both, I think, just focus on the game at hand and just uh, let it be at that. Go for the left, Chris. You had uh, five players in double figures, but how big was it to get the effort that Felicia gave tonight? It was. You know, we, we've been preaching to Fee how much we need her and how much we want her to stay aggressive and be aggressive and be a presence. And um, we've, been, we've been 
it's my assistant coaches have done a great job um, of just really working with her and just really getting in her head about you can be dominant. And I think tonight she showed took another little step in wanting that. She played more physical tonight. I think she was stronger with the ball. She finished well. I think her teammates, when they were in that 2-3 zone, her teammates were really looking for her. They got a lot of good high-low out of that. Um, but I think, it, you know, it'll help. It'll build feast confidence, you know, moving forward. But she's 6'9", and she... She's got a nice touch, and she's just got to want to be really good and want to demand. She wants. We always talk about just demand the ball, feed, demand the ball. And if you don't have anything, just kick it back out and repost. But it should be, you know, she's 6'9". She's right at that rim. It's just constantly just getting her to understand just how to finish and finish well. I think on the defensive end of the floor, I mean, she's a shot blocker for us. She really clogs the pain. I think it's just hard to score on her. And I think she will just continue to get better better on that end of the floor. It's a little bit more natural for her right now.